Welcome back to the channel. We just released our video on the four fishing rods that I would recommend if you were just going to get started with fishing and, and you wanted to keep your quantity down. And after we did that, we decided we should probably talk about reels as well. Since we did two spinning rods and two bait casting rods, we're going to do two spinning reels and two bait casting reels. If you're new to reels, you're going to hopefully learn a lot from this and the little nuances and the differences in reels. So let's get into the spinning reels to start with. We'll take the two bait casters and we'll set those aside. So I have a couple of examples here. I have the Cast King Speed Demon Elite Reel, and this is in a size 3000. And then I have a Shimano Symmetry Reel, and this is a 2500. So a little bit smaller, not a ton smaller, but it is smaller. So the differences in these reels aren't just physical size. They also have different gear ratios to them. So the Speed Demon, this particular reel is a 7.4 to 1 ratio, which is a pretty high gear ratio for a spinning reel. And the Symmetry is a 6.8 to 1. So a little bit different. What does that mean to you when you're, when you're using these reels? First off, you can put quite a bit more line on a 3000. So this one, the Speed Demon, will hold 190 yards of 10 pound test, where the Shimano will only hold 120 pounds. So you can see it's another 70 yards of line you can, you can put on the bigger sized reels. The other thing is, is what they call in the reel industry, inches per turn. So how many inches of line does the reel take in per turn of the handle? So not only is this one a higher gear ratio at 7.4 to one, it per turn, inches per turn is 42 inches. That might not sound like a lot guys, but when you're working a bait, that's quite a bit of line difference because you can see how fast I'm turning that. So if you multiply that every time by about seven and a half inches, that's considerably faster. So why is that important? For bass fishing as an example, for smallmouth, we like to use spy baits up north and we use hair jigs. And those are two techniques where a majority of the time you don't want to move that bait very fast. So to help aid that, as an angler so that I can make sure I'm slowing that bait down, I'm going to want to use a slower gear ratio as well as a reel that brings in less inches per turn. And that'll just help me work that bait at the proper speed. In contrast, if I'm throwing baits and I'm throwing them out like a Ned rig where I'm not working it a lot on the bottom, or I'm using a Cinco and I'm just throwing that out and dropping it down, or even if I'm just pitching jigs or small baits to targets and I'm working that target and I want to bring the bait back in, that's where a higher gear ratio and a reel that brings in more inches per turn comes in handy because I can throw that bait out there, work it, and I can quickly bring it back in, pitch it to another target and repeat. So those are the main differences between your spinning reels when you're looking at them. Make sure that you pay attention to the gear ratio, make sure that you pay attention to the line capacity, and make sure you pay attention to the inches per turn. Now let's get into our bait casters. And these nuances are even harder sometimes to discern because as you can see, these are two totally different reels from a gear ratio and an inches per turn standpoint, but physically they're identical. There's no difference between these reels from a physical standpoint. This reel right here is a 6.6 to one gear ratio. And this particular reel in my other hand is an 8.1 gear ratio. So guys, when you're buying bait caster reels, again, you really want to pay attention to the gear ratio that you're buying and the inches per turn because physically, just looking at reels, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Again, we have the 6.6 six to 1 and we have the 8.1 to 1. The difference between these two, not only from a gear ratio standpoint, but a lines per inch is the 6.6 six takes up 27, a little over 27 per inches per turn, and the 8.8 .8 takes up 34 inches per turn. So not a huge difference, but don't forget that gear ratio also makes a difference because that's how many more times I'm turning that spool in a time. So you, you can take up considerably much more line with the eight one to one. Now, where does that come into play in, from a practicality standpoint? Again, very similar to the spinning reels. If I'm throwing a square bill or I'm throwing a larger crankbaits and those types of things, I'm going to want to throw the 6.6 six to 1 because I don't want to overwork that bait. Sure, you can slow down with the 8.1 to 1, but you have to mentally keep doing that. And if you forget to do that, especially if you're in a tournament or you're hyped up a little bit, 
there's a good chance you're going to work that bait too quickly. So again, I'm going to use the six, six to one for those types of baits. The eight one to one, again, same type of thing. If I'm pitching to targets, top water, that type of stuff, stuff that I want to either move the bait fast or I want to be able to bring up line quickly. So again, if I'm pitching to the target, I can work that bait, get the line back in, pitch to another target. It makes you much more efficient during the day. If I'm throwing a buzz bait, I can visually see how that bait's working. So I like to have a faster reel for like a buzz bait because I can slow that down. I can really speed it up. I can do a lot of different things with that. So guys, to go along with the video on the four rods, these would be four really diverse reels that you could pair with those rods and cover a lot of different situations. And remember, in summary, the three really important things are line capacity, the gear ratio, and the inches per turn. Those all line up with the technique that you're going to use and the type of line that you're going to spool. Those would be the four reels that I would recommend. A lot of diversification here. You've got lower inches per turn, higher gear ratios, lower gear ratios, different line capacities and the such. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more videos coming out. We just shot our first on the water video in the kayak. It was a little interesting because it was the first time out and we were trying with some cameras. So that video will be coming out pretty quick here for you guys to see. Again, thanks for watching.